good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast election campaign of candidates for deputies of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Sons of Western Armenia, Sarkis Ali began on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia. Election campaign, Neli Harutunyan. Azerbaijan prevents UN agencies, international structures from entering Artsakh array MFA. The Armenian community of Georgia has issued a condemning statement. After a long break, a performance in Armenia was staged in the village of Vagif in Western Armenia. At the 55th International Chemistry Olympiad, the Armenian team won one gold and two bronze medals. The Election Commission of the National Assembly of Western Armenia invites you to participate in the 21st Zoom meeting in Armenian, organized as part of the election campaign for the National Assembly elections in December 2023. The meeting will take place on July 27, 2023 at 8 o'clock French time and 10 o'clock Yerevan time. The topic of the meeting is culture and Western Armenia. 412 employees of commercial banks participated in the 44-day Artsakh War. One of those heroes is Sarkis Saribekian. Hero Saribekian was born in 1989 in Yerevan. He was from the Reserve Army. On September 28, he appeared at the military commissariat and went to the front line. Sarkis worked in a bank, but most of all, he loved his native nature and worked as a guide. He spent the last days of his life on the hill. Sarkis was killed while defending high-tech positions on October 2. The policy of persecution against non-Turkish peoples carried out for centuries in the Ottoman Empire did not bypass the linguistic sphere either. Naturally, the main goal of that policy was to force all non-Turkish peoples living in the territory of the empire to stop using and forget their mother tongue and use Turkish Ottoman instead. Social political developments related to language became more active in the Ottoman Empire from the beginning of the 19th century, in particular parallel to the Tanzimat reforms when intellectual intellectuals try to simplify the difficult Ottoman language, but these efforts had another goal, to increase the geography and level of Turkish speaking. The Ottoman constitution adopted in 1876 gave Turkish the status of a state official language for the first time. Elaborate steps to impose the Turkish language were even more evident at the beginning of the 20th century during the young Turkish rule, and the struggle against the languages of non-Turkish peoples began to acquire a state-organized character. For example, According to academician Haracik Simonian, the city authorities in Constantinople replaced the French signs with Turkish ones in one to two days. The call instructions must be written in Turkish was spread. Along with the state structures, the Muslim society was also involved in the struggle against the languages of non-Turkish peoples, and there were records of breaking signs in other languages, public violence against non-Turkish speakers, etc. These persecutions and threats gave some results, and the intimidated merchants, artisans, hoteliers, etc started to change the Armenian, Greek, French, Italian writings of their shops, workshops, hotels into Turkish. Like other components of nationalist politics, the struggle against the mother tongues of non-Turkish peoples continued with almost the same methods during the Turkish rule. It should be stated and emphasized that according to the Treaty of Lausanne, the non-Turkish peoples living in occupied Western Armenia had the right to use their native languages to publish newspapers in their native language, which among other rights was openly violated. It should be noted that the linguistic persecution of the Turkish government was reflected not only against Armenians but also against Islamic Kurds, Circassians and other peoples. Neli Harutunyan was born on May 13, 1972 in Yerevan. In 1979-1989, she studied at secondary school number 93 in Yerevan. In 1989-1992, she studied at Yerevan Electrical Technical College. In 1992-1995, she studied at the Krasnoyarsk State Polytechnic Institute of the Russian Federation. From 1997 until today, she is a member of the Helsinki Committee of Armenia, an assistant to the head of programs and administrator. In in 2009, she is the vice chairman of the Soldiers' Protection Committee. From 1996 to 2019, she is a multi observer in all elections, short-term and long-term. Since 2013, she has been engaged in monitoring the observation of peaceful gatherings in array. 2018 is the year of Republic of Western Armenia citizens. You can watch the video about Nelly Harutinian on our Western Armenia TV YouTube page. 
According to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia, possible ways to solve the humanitarian needs of Artsakh Armenians were actively discussed with the offices of the UN World Food Program. In response to the question of the radio station Azatutin, the Department of Foreign Policy of the Republic of Armenia reported that since the first day of the illegal closure of the Berza Road by Baku, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia has been continuously working with international structures to eliminate the road closure and provide humanitarian assistance to the people of Artsakh. The Azatutin radio station specifically asked whether the Republic of Armenia has taken any concrete steps to air fleet aid to the Armenians of Artsakh through the UN Food Agency or Russian peacekeepers as Baku has banned the transportation of any humanitarian aid supplies from Armenia via the Berzo Road for more than a month and there is a severe food shortage. The Foreign Minister noted that possible ways to address the humanitarian needs of Artsakh Armenians in particular are being actively discussed both in Yerevan and with the regional offices of the UN World Food Program under its mandate. According to the Minister, the issue was also discussed in framework of the visit to the UN World Food Program Regional Director for the Middle East, North Africa and Eastern Europe to Yerevan in April. In this context, the Foreign Policy Department emphasized that Baku has consistently blocked the entry of UN agencies and other international structures into Artsakh. While the 120,000 strong population of Artsakh is being subjected to genocide by dictatorial regime of Azerbaijan under siege for almost eight months and deprived of medical care and other basic needs solely because they are Armenians, a few kilometers away Ilham Aliyev is holding a program called Shusha Global Media Forum. The level of Aliyev's cynicism about holding a forum dedicated to the defense of journalistic or, for example, human rights in Azerbaijan is no longer surprising. Recently, it was revealed that there are defenders of nature in in this country. However, it puzzles us that just a few kilometers away from starving Armenian children, the event organized by their executioners is attended by Tinatin Berzeneshvili, general director of the Georgian public TV channel, which is financed by taxes paid by Georgian citizens, including about 180,000 Armenians, and Ramila Alieva, head of the Armenian language department of the same TV channel, taking into account that the Georgian authorities have always acted from a neutral position in the relations between Armenia and Azerbaijan often trying to mediate peace in the region. The participation of the mentioned officials in the event held in Shushi is worrying. Earlier we stated that Aliyeva's stay as the head of the Armenian and Azerbaijani languages department of the public TV channel would hinder the objective and impartial activity of the department but the TV channel's management did not take effective steps in this direction. Despite the devastating February earthquakes, the residents of the village of Vagif in Western Armenia continue to lead a lively cultural life. Thus, recently, Hako Paronia's work, a twist in the neighborhoods of Polsoy, was presented in Armenian at Vagif. According to Akunknet, Vartan Estukian writes about this and Akos weekly newspaper. According to the source, about 200 people watched the performance. After many years, it was the first time that an Armenian play was organized in Vagif. In a conversation with Vartan Estukian, one of the organizers of the performance, Andranik Bagir, Joglu stated that the performance was especially well understood by the elderly residents of the villages and that the organizers made special efforts to stage the performance in Armenian. The 55th International Chemistry Olympiad was held in Zurich from July 16 to 25, in which the Armenian team won one gold and two bronze medals. Eastern Armenia was represented by Leonid Asatarian and Yuri Petrosian, 12th grade students of Quantum College, Tigran Mkhitaryan, 12th grade student of Gyumri Photon College, and Arman Haratian, 10th grade students of Vanazor Special School with advanced mathematics and science subjects. Among the participants of the Armenian team, Leonid Asatarian won a gold medal, Tigran Mkhitaryan and Arman Haratian won bronze medals and Yuri Petrosian received the commendation. The team was led by Andranik Davinian from Arenas and Armen Galistian from ECU. 355 representatives from 90 countries took part in the Olympiad with a maximum of four participants from each country. The Olympiad was held in practical and theoretical stages. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> Alinana dimalusun Hurning jamhan Hurtank sasun Sasnu ergir karu karo Sasnu ergir karu karo Nane Achvin, Manat 